Hello my friends! Welcome in to the Purple Penguin Craft Room. I'm Vicki. Uh, today is going to be kind of fun. We're using slinkies today. We're using slinkies to make flowers. Uh, this is what we're going to be making. How cute is that? And yes, uh, there are slinkies involved in this flower making. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and check out how I made this. Okay, we're gonna start with these. This is gonna be how we make our flowers. Um, so this is, it's just called exchange card. Um, it was at the Dollar Tree. Um, it came with eight. I kind of experimented with one already. Um, so I'm just gonna show you. And we're gonna get started with these flowers. These are slinkies. Uh, as fun as that is, this is, uh, they're called slinky flowers. I'm gonna show you how we make flowers these slinkies. So once you get them, they're all stuck. So you gotta break them all apart. The one I had earlier came apart really easy. This one is having some issues. <laughs> Alright, so breaking it all apart. Easy peasy. Now, if you notice on slinkies, there's always a start and a stop, right? There's always a start and a stop point. So this is its start or stop, depending on which way you look at it. And so this is, so they both kind of are at the top. I was kind of hoping they were down here at the bottom, but they're not. Um, so we're gonna start it. Since it's up here at the top, I don't want it up there at the top. I want it down here at the bottom. So I'm just actually, we're gonna take off this piece here because uh, we want to have the start down here. And what we're gonna do is these are just wire cutters. You might be able to use scissors, but these are kind of a harder plastic. So you want your wire cutter to go right up against this part here. And that's where we're going to cut it. And it makes a little heart. So then the next one, same thing turned over on me. Same thing. I'm just going to find that bottom piece here. Got it. So basically you're just making a heart shape and they don't overlap. They go right up against each other. It's perfect. Sorry about that you guys. Different camera. Um, so we're going to, well, let's do a couple um, to get these started. So I'll do uh, pink and red. I have a whole bunch of red ones already cut. So there's so we'll do three. And let's do one more to make it four. That's what I like about these wire cutters is they have a flat edge and then this goes in. So you can put that flat edge right up against where you need to cut. Okay. We're going to put all this up. Look at all this felt. I've got tons and tons and tons of felt. I've got stiff felt, I've got soft felt, um, all different colors. Here's my pink. So if I put pink on pink, it kind of blends, right? So we don't want pink on pink, but I do have white. I do have white, I have yellow, I have purple, all the things. Um, let's do stiff felt. Let's start with the stiff felt. We'll kind of move all this off to the side here. And we'll start with the stiff felt. Um, I got this, I um, believe it was at Hobby Lobby, but typically I usually get my uh, my felt from um, Walm um, Joanne Fabrics, although lately Joanne Fabrics have been kind of wonky for some reason lately. So we're going to do this. So now these will work if you, if you wanted to paint these uh, green, these will work for a shamrock. If you put them together like this and then do um, a little stem on it, um, it could totally be a shamrock. You can see that. Uh, but like I said, we're making this into a flower. So we're going to put it together like so. How cute is that? And then we'll cut around the outside and then that will be our flower. And then I have a whole bunch of buttons we can do. Um, to put uh, for the center piece of it, or I could use another piece of felt. Uh, you could use pom-poms. 
um, you know, you can kind of get creative with it at that point. Uh, we're just going to take our tacky glue and we're just going to glue them down. You can use hot glue if you want. Um, you know, I, if you watch me, I, my videos, I typically will use the tacky glue. I mean, the only, the, I mean, the difference really is uh, dry time, uh, but sometimes I feel like the tacky glue actually holds better uh, depending on your surface and um, what you're going for. Sometimes it does do better. This will wait, probably wait about an hour um, on this and then it will set up and we'll be able to cut them out. I'm going to wait until they set up uh, before I cut them out. Just make it a little easier. Like I said, um, you can leave them the colors that they come in. They only come because these are Valentine's ones. Um, they only come in the pink, purple, blue, or red. So, and we're going to do, I think we're going to do three flowers. So we're going to do that one. I'm going to do a red one too. So I already cut up a red one. So let's go ahead. We'll do a red and white. Well, I don't want to put it right up against because I might actually give it a little bit of a, um, a trim around. So we're going to do it completely. so I can see where I'm going with this. So there's those two. We're going to do one more. And I think on this last, this next one, I think, I think, I think. Kind of thinking we'll do pink. This is stiff felt again. This is, uh, the white st is stiff felt. This pink is stiff felt. Um, I'm thinking... I know the, the pink kind of blends in with this pink, but I think if we do the red and pink, that might be kind of interesting, right? Just do red and pink. And then I was kind of thinking what I might do is make this one a little bit different and actually have more of the petals on it. We'll go like this. And we'll do more petals on it. So see so, you how these just have the four. This one's got eight. So, and with your slinkies, so I've got four here, or eight here. I've got four more here. I've got two, and then another four. So you can make quite a few flowers with these slinkies. And then not only that, it comes with two red, two pink, two purple, and two blue. So you get two of each color. So you can make quite a few uh, flowers from, from this, this set. So we're going to try this one, like I said, we're going to try this one a little bit different. You can see the glue now, but once it dries, it'll be fine. Okay, 
So now these kind of go in between. Not all of this contact is going to make it, but we're going to try it anyways. It's really, it's going to be on the sides here. It's okay. It's okay. It's just glue. It will dry clear. It'll be fine. I promise. Although it looks really cool, we can put the four on top of the other four. Makes for a really pretty flower. So that one will look pretty because that will be pretty purple and pink. And if I want to on these, even after they're done with these, I can go back and add the extra four on top to make it look like this one too. Um, I don't have to leave them like this. So. You know, it's, it's totally up to you what you want to do with that. Like I said, I do have some big buttons we can put in the middle of them for their centers. So let's go ahead. We're going to let these dry and then we'll come back and uh, we'll, we'll trim out around them. Okay. So we kind of let them sit overnight and they are glued on there. They're not coming off on all of three of our flowers. And so now we're going to just trim them up. So I just want to take small scissors. This might work with an exacto knife, but make sure you have a really sharp blade. Um, I think really just small scissors would work just fine. And you can go leave as much or as little as you want for your trim. I kind of just want a little bit, I'm probably going maybe about a quarter of an inch or so. You know, if you don't trust yourself doing this freehand, you could also just take a marker and just use a marker on it and then just trace out your marker. That would work too sometimes. Perfect. I love that. I like how that looks. Okay. Now, we're just going to do our other ones here. Same thing. I'm just going to pink and white. We'll do the red and white here. Okay, now we have all three of our flowers. I kind of got an idea that, you know, these were kind of boring looking. Um, so I was kind of doing on the red one, I got this, um, which was this one, Cardinal Red. Cardinal Red. I was just going to take some, see how this worked. I'm not quite sure if this is going to be the, quite the look I want. I'm just going to play with it. Thinking. 
So I don't usually paint on felt, but we're going to see how this looks. I just wanted to give it a little bit something. I don't want to go heavy with it. I kind of wanted to do something like that. That's kind of cool, right? You do, you kind of just decorate however you want. I kind of like that. Just give it a little something extra. It's not completely boring. Because it's not a hard surface, it's a felt, it kind of actually looks like stippling a little bit. It's kind of nice. Okay, so now it doesn't look quite as boring, really. And then we've got, so it went kind of like this to this. Like that. Now let's do something similar with the pink one. I kind of think I'm doing a little bit different. pink one, I'm going to use a color, uh, what is this? Bright magenta. Bright magenta, but it's not really bright. It's actually kind of a duller color, which is fine. something like a variegated kind of look to it here. Darker here and just kind of faded out. Yeah. And something like that. It's kind of cool, right?
That way, all of our flowers are slightly different. I do want to bring in this one too, though. I like how that looks. Um, I do want to bring this one back in. Um, and then I was thinking with this one, I want to do white. We want to tone down, since it's red on pink, I want to tone it down a little bit since these guys are a little bit brighter. Um, this is my off-white that I normally use, the light buttermilk color. And I'm just kind of thinking... I'm just kind of bring in a little bit here. Nothing crazy. I don't want to go heavy or anything. They get a little on the plastic. You can kind of wipe it because these are they're plastic. A little heavier on that one. Let's see if I like it. Kind of do actually. like that. That makes it kind of stand out a little bit better. like it. Okay, done with the flowers. Um, now they kind of need stems, right? They need stems. I've got these, uh, they're skewers, but for some reason they're already painted. I'm not quite sure if I remember painting them or if I bought them this way. Honestly, they were in my stash. I can't remember. Um, I might have painted them because, you know, usually skewers don't come this way. Um, you never know. But um, what we're going to do is flip over our friends here. And we're going to glue them on the back. And again, we're just taking our tacky glue, because that's the kind of glue I use. Now just for some extra security, because I do want them to be a little more secure, I have this green soft felt. I'm just going to cut a bunch of it here. We're going to glue it on top. I'm going to give it a little more to hold on to. Some extra security on it. Yeah. Let's make sure the flower is good and safe here. Gonna do the same thing with all of them. Last one. Okay. 
Okay, now we'll let those dry. Let's go ahead, I'm going to put these off to the side. We're going to bring in our container. This is what our flowers are going to sit in. Um, it is from the Dollar Tree, and it says laser cut wood. Laser cut wood tray is what this is. Um, it's kind of interesting. Um, let's see if we can get its tag on there. Let's see how well it comes off. Oh, good. It came off pretty easy. So, normally I would stain this. I'm kind of thinking of doing a little something different. We're going to use two browns. I have a honey brown, which is a, a lighter brown, and a little bit darker brown, which is real brown. And we're going to kind of do, I think we're going to do darker on the outside and do light on the inside here. And, and see if I like it. I'm going to see how it looks. I'm going to start with the inside and just do the lighter first. Then we'll come back with the darker brown on the outside here. And I am kind of taking, like they have these kind of <clears throat> lightly etched in here and my paint is just filling it in. Um, so that's fine. So then I could do, I could do It does not have the same all the way around, just on the front here. So we're going to just do the rest of it in the darker brown. Okay, so our flowers are attached. They're not going anywhere. We let that dry, so they're good. Now, I felt like they needed centers, so I went through all of my button stash to try and find center pieces on these. And we're gonna go ahead and glue these on. I felt like these were gonna be our best bets here. So I got the light pink on that one. This one, I went with a darker red, just because I felt like it was, I don't know, it was calling, it was calling me, I like that. And then this one too, I also went with a darker red, and I did that because I did the darker outsides, I just felt like that needed the darker as well. So there's our centers, flowers are done, and they look great. Uh, you wouldn't be able to tell that they were slinkies, right? They are part of a slinky. Now let's put them in our box. Our box is done. Um, it's got the dark on the outside. We did the light on this inside here. But I wanted to give it a little bit of color. Um, I got this ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Um, it's just a check. But it's not quite... I kind of... say so I got it like that, which is fine but I was kind of thinking I wanted it double. So we're gonna double it, and we will do that. Just glue it here. Just across the tops of these. I'm going to glue it just here on the side just to kind of hold it a little bit here. But then we're going to go up. This is the back, so it's not that big a deal. Yes. 
And then we will finish it off back here. box going like that. No, I felt like I wanted, some of these are white, I felt like I wanted to bring some white, more white, because it's obviously it's Czech. Um, I'm going to wrap it too. I'm going to wrap it also with a cord. Kind of hide that center just a little bit there. Moving on me here. Hold that. Can we? <laughs> I'm going to hide that up just a little bit there. Glue. <laughs> So, so we have it like that. I really like that. And let's put a little simple bow on it. It's like you're tying your shoelaces, kind of. Cute little box. No, I like that little box. It's cute. Just how it is, actually. All right. Now let's put the flowers in it. Let's get them in there. Um, I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when you order things, you get foam that comes with it. And sometimes I keep it, obviously, because I like to reuse things. And uh, so instead of floral foam on this, we're going to use, I'm going to call it packaging foam? I don't know what I'm going to call it. <laughs> um, but So we're going to kind of cipher how thick I want it here. I think it's about here. This is just a paring knife, actually, that I'm using the cut with. What's better than free foam, right? It does get a little messy, but, you know, floral foam gets messy, too. So, it's okay. You want to cut it in sections to get it in there. So 
that's one. Let's go ahead and do more of that. might be a little too high. We might have to take that down a notch. So when I put it in, it is going a little bit over. So I think we're just going to use the two the sections in there. All right. And then we need to glue them in there. We don't want them to come back out. And I'm going to take a small section of this and see if it melts. I'm curious. I love that. Yeah. That actually didn't, it doesn't melt like floral foam. So that's actually kind of cool. Um, that's good to know. Normally floral foam would be melted, but that's actually good to know that this does not. I am on low temp too. Oh no. Oh yeah, I am. I'm on low temp. My, uh, my glue gun does high and low, so low temp definitely helps too. Sweet. Okay. So now I've got this. That's good. Now we've got our flowers and we've got some greenery. This greenery here is plastic greenery grass. Um, it kind of looks, I don't know, it's kind of hard to describe how that looks, <laughs> but uh, this is from the Dollar Tree. And then I've got, aren't these cute? These are actually glitter, glitter berries and then these are also considered glitter berries. These were from Dollar Tree. Most of this is from Dollar Tree. These, I'm not quite sure where these are from. Um, they were just extra stuff I had. So, we're going to pull these apart. Wire cutters here. And we're going to stick them in. This foam is really stiff. Sometimes I like to use my needle nose to kind of help with things. Just gonna pop some in here real quick and see what I've got going on. Then we'll put our flowers in. Okay, so we've got our greenery in here. So we're just gonna pick out a spot to put the flowers. estimate where I want to cut my skewers. I'm going to cut them at an angle. Okay, so there's the one flower. I think I want to put uh, this guy in the middle, I think. Okay. 
And this guy is going to be off to the side. flowers in there. Now I've got some extra greenery. This one we're going to put up in front. I think. Apologize, you guys. It's harder to do at this angle. I'm still be able to see what's going on. There we go. I do apologize for that a little bit, you guys. So I just changed the angle so we could actually see what I've got going on here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and see about using these little berries, but not really. We're gonna, gonna stick a few of them in here just to see what they look like. Actually, now that I'm seeing them with the flowers, I kind of like them. These are, are actually missing quite a few of the berries. That's because they just they fall off. So there's that. put some of this taller greenery in back behind. Fills in a little bit back here. And probably get just a little bit down here. Get a little sprig here. There we go. I like how that looks. Now Finishing touch, Spanish moss. We all like our Spanish moss, right? Sometimes when pulling doesn't work, just cut it. Sometimes it works better if you put the Spanish moss in first, but I wasn't sure how this foam was going to react. So we're just going to. We're kind of winging it here. Turn it around. 
you have easier access to the back. And a little bit goes a long way. I'm just kind of spread it out once you get it in there. extra and kind of shut it in there. And voila! We are all done. So I love how that turned out. That was so cute. You can't tell what the kind of things you used for the flowers and whatnot. Um, it looks beautiful. So we love that. Um, Keep on coming back to see more at the Purple Penguin Craft Room, and happy crafting!